Good evening, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hollander. Well, at first, the snow we're expecting to see tonight and into tomorrow wasn't looking like that big of a deal. But now uh, we're seeing signs that a band of lake effect snow is going to set up behind the main area of snow, and that makes this a bigger deal for Northwest Indiana. Let's get right to the timing here. Uh, starting at 11 o'clock tonight, because I think it's after 11 o'clock tonight that the snow will begin to move in to Northwest Indiana. Notice that it's already gonna be falling in Chicago and areas to the west. Uh, so a heads up that if you're planning on spending the evening there tonight, the snow is gonna begin earlier. It's gonna take a little bit longer to reach Northwest Indiana, but after 11 o'clock tonight, it's gonna to start to move in. And while it's gonna be a lot of light to moderate snow, those darker shades of blue that are showing up here are indicating that there are going to be some pockets of heavier snow and look how it's widespread across the area 2 a.m tonight and still widespread 5 a.m early tomorrow morning now for a lot of the area the greater chicagoland area notice that things are really quieting down by 8 a.m tomorrow morning but not over lake county quarter county laporte county what we're seeing is an area of lake effect snow setting up. So this is going to result in significantly higher snow totals across Lake County, Porter County, and LaPorte County than anywhere else in the area. Because check out 11 a.m. Notice how it's mainly focused over right in this model says Lake and Porter County. Again, it's always very difficult to forecast exactly where the heaviest snow is going to fall in one of these bands of lake effect snow. Could this band be a little bit farther to the east than what's been indicated on this model? Yes. Could it be a little bit farther to the west? Yes, that's a possibility as well. And what we know is it's going to set up somewhere in Laporte, Porter, or Lake County. And wherever that heaviest band sets up, that's who's going to see the highest snowfall total. And then the farther you are away from the lake, the less impressive the snow is going to be. Notice how there's snow continuing into Jasper County, but the intensity a lot less than what we're seeing closer to the lake, where we're still seeing that dark shade of blue on this particular model in Porter County. Now, once we get past lunchtime, I think the intensity of the snow is going to back off. But I think that band of lake effect snow is still going to be around. And what we're going to see during the afternoon hours tomorrow is that band shift from west to east across the area with the intensity going down and that gradual shift to the east. So I think the place where the snow is going to come to an end last is going to be in LaPorte County. And it'll probably just be a few flurries at 5 o'clock. Certainly by 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, all the snow will be out of here. So the question is, how much snow are we going to see? Well, it's a fairly easy snow forecast if you're in Newton or Jasper County. There, we're probably looking at two to four inches of snow. And notice that's going to be similar across the rest of the Chicago land area. But notice the bullseye that's showing up across Northern Lake, Northern Porter, and LaPorte County. Somebody could see up to nine inches of snow. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where that's going to be. I think it's going to be somewhere between Gary and Michigan City. But in between there, all of those have the potential for seeing up to nine inches of snow. But it's not a guarantee you're going to see that. It's going to be a very small area that sees that highest total. Meanwhile, the majority of Lake Porter and LaPorte County are probably going to see two to six inches. I think that's what's going to be most common. But somebody near the lake between Gary and Michigan City could see up to nine inches. Keep that in mind. Again, this is just one model, so I don't really want you to focus too much on specific values. I think this is, if I'm showing this one because I think it's probably doing the best of all the models out there if I had to pick one model, but let's talk about possibilities because I think that's a safer bet. When you consider all the model possibilities, it gives you the most realistic idea of what's going to happen. And if I had to pick a place that's going to see the most snow, I would say Portage. You're looking at a range as little as five inches, but perhaps as high as nine inches. Michigan City, I think your range could be, you know, if the band sets up a little bit farther to the west, four inches, but there's the possibility it could sit up almost right on top of you, and that would result in about eight inches of snow. Gary, same story, looking at a range of four to eight inches. Now, as you get farther away from the coast, those totals are going to be smaller, but again, it's going to depend on exactly where that band sets up. So Valparaiso, you're looking at a range of about three to six inches, so six inches being the high end, three inches the low end. Crown Point, also going to go with the same thing, three to six inches. Hammond, two to five inches, because I think you're going to be a little bit far enough west from where the snow band will set up. So I think if it sets up more to the west, you could get up to five inches. But if it sets up more to the east, then you're looking at about two inches of snow in the Hammond area. So winter weather advisory is in effect for all of northwest Indiana. 
uh, until five o'clock tomorrow afternoon begins at 11 o'clock tonight and ends at five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. They could cancel it earlier than that in Newton Jasper County, just because the threat for heavy snow is probably going to end earlier in Newton Jasper County, but it's certainly going to continue through the afternoon hours for Lake County, Porter County, and LaPorte County. If you notice on this map, see how uh, Lake and Porter County are a slightly different shade of purple. That's because it's still possible this winter weather advisory could be upgraded to a winter storm warning if higher confidence in that lake effect snow band sets up. And if we could pinpoint maybe that that lake effect snow band is going to set up right over Porter County, then maybe there'll just be a winter storm warning for one county where we're expecting those highest snow totals right now, uh, leaving the possibility for a winter storm warning for Lake and Porter County in there. But right now it's just a winter weather advisory. All right, so let's summarize all of this. And for the overall story is that the most widespread and heaviest snow is going to be tonight, except for Lake Porter and Laporte counties. Though a lot of the snow is going to be exiting the area, that big area of snow, a band of lake effect snow is going to set up, and that's going to keep the threat for heavy snow in Lake County, Porter County, and Laporte County going through the morning hours. Now, as we get into the afternoon, we're going to see the snow drop in intensity and come to an end from west to east across the area. So the snow will end first in Lake County, then in Porter County, and finally in LaPorte County during the late afternoon and early evening hours. Now, from late tonight through the day tomorrow, with snow coming down, there's going to be low visibility. We're definitely looking at snow-covered roads. Uh, so especially near the lake, where somewhere we're going to see some really high snow totals, the biggest takeaway is if you can avoid being on the roads late tonight through the day tomorrow, do so. I would say that really for the entire region, but especially trying to avoid that area near the lake where we're going to see those highest totals. Now, things do come up, and I know there might be the need to travel for various reasons. So if you have to go out, though Sunday looking like a great day to stay in, if you do have to go out late tonight or through the day Sunday, please give yourself a lots of extra time to reach your destination. You're absolutely going to want to drive below the speed limit. And don't forget that you don't want to follow that car in front of you too closely. Keep a good distance between that car in front of you because they may have to stop unexpectedly.